What's up guys? It's your girl Liz and today I am back with my birthday present collection video for you guys. I'm sitting to this side of the frame today because I'm going to be, you know, presenting things to you guys like this and I hope that you guys are excited. First off, Kelly sent me an edible arrangement which was delicious and adorable. I got a uh, Mega Million which I don't think won anything. And then these are the order forms for my desktop which you guys have already seen in my 100 subscriber giveaway announcement. So let me break it down to you guys like this. This is going to be yet another three part video on my channel for you guys. The first part, I am going to be participating in a helium challenge of sorts. I have to keep the balloons away from my kitten because he wants to pop them. He already popped two. I can't let him do that. So this was my um, balloons at work and stuff. Happy birthday with the little peacock and whatnot. And I'm going to start opening my gifts with the things that my sister-in-laws and my mother and father-in-law and stuff got me because I will just do a quick embarrassing pano over to all of the items that my mom got me for my house from her antique store. I will go into all of that a little bit more in a little bit. But right now, let's dive into what Tabby got me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inhale a balloon and then do the unboxing until I run out of balloons. And I know I'm going to do that because my mom got me a ton of stuff. Well, first off, guys, Mr. El Chapo wanted to say hello to you guys again. Well, he just wanted to be up here. I guess he doesn't want to look at all the lights. All right, go get your brother. I'm filming. Oh, he jumped all off of me. The helium in these rubber balloons actually become very like uh, thin. So it doesn't really work on your voice anymore. But I do have this Mylar balloon guys and I have faith in this because it is still actually floating. Uh, my dumbass should have thought that maybe there wasn't helium in it anymore because it wasn't floating. Okay, so with the Mylar balloon, let's do try number two. I don't think I cut low enough. I didn't. This is interesting to do while I'm starting to feel congested as well. Alrighty guys, let's get this video started. Mr. Tabinda got me the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. <laughs> I have actually always wanted this freaking Shade and Light face contour palette because when I got married and I got my, my makeup done at Sephora and you like to buy $50 worth of product and they do your makeup for free, I asked for the Shade and Light palette and the lady gave me the eye palette instead of the face palette. So I still have my eye palette, I barely used it. But now I have the eye and the face palette. I might just do a video with both of them, I'm excited. Also, shout out to Luna because she got me a awesome, uh, like kind of a like smoky blacks, darks, dark browns and stuff, uh, eye palette, and it actually shattered in the packaging. So she's trying to return that for me and get me a new. Don't have it with me today. I will definitely show you guys when I get it, but shout out to Luna for that one. Alrighty, so my mother-in-law got me a very adorable Michael Kors wallet and it is this beautiful royal blue color, a wonderful patent leather texture and kind of a gunmetal, you know, accent on there. It does have a single zipper detail on it and it is just a nice women's wallet. <sighs> I can't believe I said that all in one breath. 
this. Now hubby's got to get me a purse to match, you know. Sorry, they did it to you, not me. After my mother and father-in-law, we had Henna, who got me Versace Women, which is a really adorable lavender packaging in this golden box. And it smells really good. It has a very rosy scent. And it comes with the shower gel, the body lotion, and the perfume. I also have another, another sister-in-law that goes to college and didn't have her present with her when she saw me. So shout out to Nida for whatever she's gonna get me. I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. And of course, last but not least, we have my husband's twin sister, Maida. She got me an adorable 88 color neutral palette from BH Cosmetics. And then I also got some cute Laurel freebies, which is a CC cream and a liquid blush. And then I also got a L'Oreal Glossy Balm Stick in shade. Innocent Coral, which is actually just like the NYX Cosmetics lipstick that I just recently got. If you guys are familiar with my channel, I actually love that orangey lipstick that I've gotten as well. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm gonna run out of this balloon definitely before I even start my mother's part of this haul. That's gonna be the last section of this video is all of the home decor stuff that my mom got me because she now owns her own antique store. So she goes to estate sales and you know storage auctions and thrift stores, antique stores as well to find these great things for her store and some of these things are just too perfect not to give your daughter to give to put in her new house. So this helium lasts as a while when you're talking. Just to finish up the Helium Challenge part of this, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that subscribed before my 100 subscriber giveaway. I ended up making it my birthday present from me to you guys. Uh, shout out to Christina, the Cherokee Gypsy that won. If you haven't seen that video or the unboxing video that inspired that video for me to you guys, I will link both down below. Without any further ado, let's jump into my mom's portion of this haul. I might edit this later and like post it separate as like just a like decor collection, but like I cannot believe all this great stuff my mom got and when I can find a place for it in the whole house, I will definitely show it to you guys first and foremost. The first piece of home decor I, I forgot Kelly actually got me. It is this cute little black uh, cake, you know, cake holder type thing. I definitely plan on putting it out in my kitchen permanently throughout the year. Maybe put my napkins and things on top of it because I don't like when my napkins are on the counter and they're used for something and the napkins get wet on the bottom. And then... So this is the cute little cake topper Kelly got me. With my mom's stuff, it's going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to go as I grab and we are going to start with a table runner. So. This she got me, obviously, for my dining room table. It has these two very nice, luxurious tassels on it. Uh, on the one side, it is a beautiful green and like a silvery kind of mix in. On the one side, it's this beautiful print. And then on the other side, it's a little tacky, but I mean, from afar, it looks pretty good on the dining room table. It'll be nice. I can't have these tassely things, especially with a new kitten in my house. Uh, but I might take them off, reuse them for something else, and definitely slap this bad boy on the table. Next up, we have a very multi-purpose wire bin the handles have this beautiful spiral kind of rope detail and the side i don't know this looks behind it but you guys can tell you guys can see it's just a cute little basket you can use it for anything put it on the coffee table put it on in the middle of the dining room table you know. up is a very tall brass candle holder comes to a top like this and it is hollow in the bottom like that. Sticking with the candle holders, I will show you guys the other two massive candle holders she got me. 
This is so pretty. It's antique. It's got these like lion foot claw, whatever it's called down here, and this beautiful glass section, and all of this detail up here, and then it comes just to a top, so you can just put a candle on it. She also got me this candle. So there, like that. It's such a massive candle holder, I would probably get a taller candle to go on it. Uh, these are all, three of them are pretty tall. This one is very geometric and very square on the bottom, and then it comes up into these discs on the top to a flat top as well. It has like a brown, like green, like patina, like kinda antique -y feel to that one. So these are my new giant candle holders that I love so much I need to find a place for. Let me tell you guys if this isn't my favorite, one of my favorite birthday presents this year is this beautiful like sea green, kind of like dark turquoise blue ceramic vase. I love this thing so freaking much. It is such a nice size and I really can't wait to find something to put in it. I'm gonna go through this box really quickly because I wanna get a few things out to show you other things that I wanna pair with. I already showed you guys this in my Hammy Downs thrift haul. This, you know, um, this sage planter. I see this better with the white background now that I have. But the teal, kinda sea green candlestick. The orange glass vase. Glass cups with the mirrored rims this turquoise sunflower dish bowl type thing and my mom also got me the little chair like pot holder we we both thought to put a little baby succulent on it so that's what this is as a pot holder but next up this is all new stuff starting with whatever this is this is a cute little white napkin holder and I am going to paint it a kind of tan color so it matches with my kitchen motif. I actually just might do that tonight. This is something that I want to put out with these things on my little coffee table and stuff. This beautiful orange, uh, you know, candle holder type thing. Just thought it was very cute. Next up, we have a beautiful yellowy orange depression class vase which i am also excited to put out next to this i just think in my living room and like i literally already told you guys okay this is like the color scheme of my whole house with the turquoise and the orange and the yellow and a little bit of gray and white you know but turquoise and orangey burnt yellow this kind of color is the main you know motif so i have the oranges and the yellows. I have these beautiful blues together so far. Um, let me show you. I know she got me a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna be a bitch kind of recap over this. Another little glass cup that I can put candles in or potpourri or anything like that. I actually should have a bag of potpourri in this somewhere. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go put this out in my living room right now with the gold rim for the fall with my potpourri in it. Next up is another beautiful yellow depression glass and I will get closer so you guys can maybe see the etched glass on it. So freaking adorable. Can't wait to have all of these yellow and orange and blue glass pieces out together. Just tying in my whole look. A big candle, a big colorful orange candle to go in one of my multiple candle holders. But this is what my mom had it in in the box. This is just a really cute little, you know, mosaic, mirrored, shiny tile, whatever, whatever. And, you know, you can just put a little candle in there and when you burn it, it'll glow through the panels 
or I could always put some potpourri or some, you know, fake little foliage and, you know, decorative shit in it, you know? People are putting cotton around their houses lately and people get, oh, so offended. This is a, another orangey, yellowy candle. What scent is this, does it say? I don't know what scent it's supposed to be, but there's another candle for ya. Yet another vase. This I thought was really freaking cute to put in my office down here. So if you guys remember my sewing videos, especially like when I showed you guys, like when I first bought it, you could tell I had a big like plastic yard sale table on that side. And I had like my sewing stuff all over it. So we moved that, packed all that away, put it somewhere else, and now I have my computer in the corner. We're gonna get an L-shaped corner with the little hutch shelves above it, and I can put this in it. I definitely wanted to try and put this and this candlestick together. I just thought it was freaking adorable. You can tell I love decor. I actually always wanted to be an interior designer, but then I thought, you know, who exactly pays for an interior designer where I live, and did I have the balls to move anywhere else? No, I didn't, so I didn't ever do it. The next item my mom got me, I'm not really sure what it is, but I could use it, you know, anywhere for anything. Maybe I could put my napkins in this. This is a little more appropriate than a whole cake holder. But yeah, just some details on the side there and the little coiled handle here. Very cute, very cute, moving along. This is another one of my favorite items that she got me is a giant wicker basket. It has a planter's bottom in it, or you could obviously always just take it out and use it as a basket. I might put like blankets in it, like in the corner of my living room or something, so you can, you know, grab something cozy while you're watching a movie. Of course, this is a cat house, so it will probably become a cat bed at that time. She gave me some rock salts because I know I've talked about this. My mother is very into astrology and energies and things like that. So I got rock salts to have, you know, a positive, you know, flow around me. We have another little birdhouse. So you guys know what I was freaking thinking. I don't think it'll fit. Oh, man, I wish it would fit. I really, really wanted to like hang that inside of there and have the black dangle in the white. Oop, my candle. This is a beautiful figurine that my mother always said reminded her of me. And we just always had it in the house. She gave it to me to put out and put around in my own house, maybe on my little dresser. Just a nice little gold frame to accent, you know, wherever I would like to put a frame. I'll probably leave it for down here in my office area because I've put pictures all through my house already and now I just kinda need to fill up my office space. Here is something else that I will probably also put on my desk and probably keep some pencils in or something like that. Maybe my spare pair of glasses or something by my computer is this beautiful little painted vintage trunk looking you know storage space in it my mom put a giant turquoise hair clip which if you guys haven't noticed is like you know teal is life and also inside my crazy old mother done put a switchblade in it so i got a nice iridescent rainbow knife now Oh, I think the last box was the heaviest with all this metal in it. Okay, guys, we are on the last box of birthday decor present collection haul stuff. First off, a paddle of wood for me to craft with. Props to mom to knowing that I like simple shit I can do something with. This here is a adorable little metal tray and she got it for I think it says two dollars right on the bottom there. I have another candle, a very tall burgundy candle, black cherry scented and it says she got it for a dollar. A dollar. 
Shout out to Liza Koshi. Please subscribe. Please love me. Please make me you. Next up, we have two antique candle holders, which are these very cute little wire design. The the little you know pitchfork thing in the end of it, so you can stick the candle on there real good. The shorter ones will probably be. Is my candle? Sorry guys, Chapo's going nuts. Bill, get. Shorter ones will probably go on my desk, as I know I've been saying quite a bit, but the taller ones, I want to, hold on, let me get this out of the way. She got me a little clock for my kitchen, which I'm about to go hang when this is done being filmed. Thanks, Mom, I needed to know what time it was. These ones are three different heights, and I really love the simplistic, design of these ones they're so rustic and beat up i just think that they're adorable to have the three different heights um and i plan on putting them in the middle of my coffee table another candle holder that is actually nickel and i can you know paint it or do whatever i want with it it is smaller on one side and larger on the other so we have this candle holder yet another candle holder for my kitchen since it has the grapes in it and there are grapes on my clock and there's grapes on my floor mat so that's kitcheny grapes Yet another candle holder. I plan on putting this one on my dresser because if you guys don't remember, I have the little candle holder. I like candles, okay guys? They're easy to decorate with. If you guys remember, in my bedroom by my dresser, I have the cute little mirror that my mother and I also thrifted and the candlesticks. I'm gonna put this one with that one. I'm gonna use it as a little earring dish on my dresser. Here, my mother and I went to the dollar store and she got me two different scents of candles, a red one for now in the winter time and a teal one to match said decor. And the potpourri that I knew I had for me to put in that thing over there. Nearing the end, guys, almost there. We have a turquoise plate, which my mother does not intend for me to actually eat off of. It says it is just Royal Norfolk brand uh, microwave and dishwasher safe. It's just a plate, but it's a teal plate. So now it's decor because it matches my decor. Alrighty guys, last but not least, in all of the stuff that my mom gave me are these beautiful, it says it on there, copper, silver, plated, serving dish set. So we have a teeny one, we have a little bit bigger one, and then hold on, she has them wrapped up. And then we have the big, big ones. So these are actually antiques. Definitely something cute to put out when we're entertaining. It's got a beautiful reflection. You can tell that they are old and very well kept. I love these as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all of the stuff that I got for my birthday from all the ones that love me in my life. You've seen what hubby got me, you've seen what my sisters got me, you definitely saw all the stuff my mom got me. If you've watched until the end, I do appreciate it so very much. If you have a passion for decor like I do, definitely stick around this channel because as I'm placing all this different stuff, I'm gonna do little video segments of it and like why I put what where, what I put into what, you know what I mean? All my little combinations of stuff. So definitely look forward to all of that. I love you guys so, so much. Happy birthday to me. It's almost our one year anniversary of me making videos. It will be on January 7th is my anniversary for YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this video off because if not, I'm gonna keep rambling. Make sure to like it, make sure to comment on it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys on the flip.